in this tutorial we will be covering the different switches those are available in AutoCAD then how to use template and how to with work with multiple drawings so let's start so these are the different switches we have seen ortho mode then next is polar tracking so while drawing if you want to track the angle then you can use this polar tracking so for that you have to make it on just click on that so it will get polar on it will get on then you have to right click on it and click on the setting then you can define here the increment angle so it will track which angles it will track so it will uh, track the angles in the multiples of 30 so I again they are 30 click on ok so when I uh, create a line give the first point when I move my cursor up when it comes near to 30 degree it log it locks there the cursor gets locked there and it indicate that 30 has been arrived by giving this green dotted line if I goes ahead for 60 also it will show so in the multiple of 30 for each angle it will show that angle have arrived so in this way this polar tracking can be used so with the help of polar tracking some drawings can be made very faster as we made that star drawing in our first lecture that can be done very faster suppose at first we will set the limits 0 comma 0 enter and 200 comma 200 enter zoom all z enter a enter after that i will give line first point i want straight line so length now here i want angle of 60 degrees so I will not I will track it and 60 is there so I will just put the length again here I want angle of 60 so I will just track it and I will put the length so there is no need to put the angle if polar tracking is on just give the direction and put the length again I want it 30 here so 30 so I will just put the length so in this way you can create this drawing very fast using polar tracking so you just have to bring that angle I want here 120 I will just key in the length press enter give the direction give the length then close the drawing so in this way using polar tracking you can create this drawing very easily then if xy comes in between you can shift it by using UCS icon command for that you have to give UCS icon so UCS i is the shortcut press enter click on no origin so it will get to left side then polar tracking so you can make it on and off by clicking on this then next is object snap so when we create object it show when we uh, take our cursor to near to some object it shows us end point or mid point so these object snap can be sh are shown because this object snap option is on if it is off if I click on it it will get off so in that case it will not show mid end point and mid point so if sometimes it is not showing that means your option may be off so you can make it on and it will start showing again so for object snap to be shown some command should be run running for that otherwise also it will not show so in this way you can make the object snap on and off from here and if you right click on the object snap the setting setting and if you click on the setting so you can tick tick the object snap which you need frequently if you don't need the object snap frequently don't take it otherwise it creates it brings too many object snap at a single point so that creates actually problem for creating the drawings so tick on the minimum object snaps that is required so those are ticked which will come automatically if those are not ticked it will not come automatically so in this way you can use the object snap 
then 3d object snap is used for 3d object then next is object snap tracking so you can track the point and lo locate another point uh, now for for example I want to locate the center of this shape and I want to create a circle there so I will take circle command now I know that the center point this center point in the line of this point and this point so I will just take my cursor on that point I will not click there I will just hold it there for some time and I will take away the cursor so it has marked there with the green plus sign and my center point in the will be in the line of this point so I will take my cursor there hold for some time so it will mark that those position if uh, now if I take my cursor to the center it will automatically track the center point using those uh, points we have tracked so click on the center so you in this way you can create a circle at the center so in this way you can uh, locate a point based on other points so same way you can use it for tracking also suppose this is a top view I want to create a front view so you can use object snap tracking for that also so just go for line hold your cursor for some time and come down click so in this way you can track and create your drawing very easily so I want in this line so just track it and click it so it will be created press enter to come out you can press enter to repeat the command also if I want line command again so just you have to press the enter and you can use your spacebar also keyboard spacebar spacebar to give the enter so spacebar can also be used as a enter in AutoCAD so again I want to track uh, in this line so I will hold for some time I will come down and click here so in this way again this line or length of this line is in this line so I will again track now intersection is on so it is giving me easily so in this way you can use object snap tracking for taking for projections also to create front view top view of the object so the uh, by clicking on this you can make it off also if it is creating some problem you can make it off also and again by click or F11 is the shortcut it is showing you shortcut is F11 by F11 key also you can make it on and off same way object snap can be made on and off by F3 and for polar tracking it is F10 so you can use shortcut function keys also for activing activating these options so dynamic uses is again part of 3d so we will see when we complete the 3d lectures then dynamic input so if so to use our tutorials it is very important that it your dynamic input is on if it is off it will not show the your messages at this cursor the plus plus cursor if I click on line now it is not showing me any message there if I click first point it is not showing me the li uh, length of the line and the angle also so if you face such a problem that means your object dynamic input is off so just by clicking on that or by pressing F2 key on keyboard you can make it on once it is on again it will showing you the angle and length and the messages also at the cursor so it is very important that you keep this object snap button on then we have seen this line weight in layer ka layer lecture then there is one more is quick properties now you when we click on object nothing happens but if we make this quick properties on in that case if we click on the object it will show this panel of uh, property panel so here you can change the parameters also suppose I want this circle to be of 30 radius enter so that object will be updated automatically uh, and it is showing me circumference and area also if I change the circumference as per that it is automatically changing the radius and diameter same way for area also if I required a particular area circle of particular area you can get it automatically by putting those parameters here so this is possible because of this quick properties if it is off it will not be shown if you click on some object you have to come out by pressing escape button so you in this way you can use the quick properties 
if we click on line so you can see the length of the line so length of line is not editable so in this way you can use the quick properties if I select the multiple object then you can change the line type or layers also from here if you have made some layers those also you can ch change from here but if you are facing problem with this quick properties you can keep it off so in this way we can use these switches available at here in AutoCAD Our next concept we will be see uh, seeing how to work in multiple drawings suppose I open some more drawings click on open and take some drawings so I will take one more or uh, by selecting shift and multiple you can also open multiple drawings at a time by holding down shift and clicking on the drawings to be open and open so here you can see I have open four, dr four drawings are there so by clicking on these tabs you can move from one drawing to another drawing and if you want to view all the four drawings in single window then you have to go to view then here in the user interface section there is tile vertically option is there if you click on that so it will show four drawings in single screen so by clicking in the uh, in that window you can work in that window so in this way you can see tile vertically is there then tile horizontally is there okay for uh, because the space is less result is same so by using this you can also transfer one, one object to another another drawing also suppose I want this drawing to be transferred to this drawing so I will click on this drawing then I will go to home and I will s click on copy clip then select the drawing click uh, then press enter then go to other drawing and click on paste so in this way you can transfer one drawing to another drawing using copy and paste or it is still in memory so you can again paste it in other drawing also so in this way you can transfer one drawing to another drawing if you want to come back to your original view then maximum maximize one drawing so you will again come back into a single drawing and from here you can go from one drawing to another drawing so in this way you can work in multiple drawing environment then next we will see templates how to use those templates that we will see just close all those drawings I don't want to save so when we click on new drawing create a new drawing AutoCAD asks us to select a template so we normally select by default AutoCAD template and click on open but suppose actually we can avoid the repetition of work using the template concept suppose we want to create our own template for that suppose I have started this uh, drawing so limit command we use every time so we can set here the limits command to the normally required limit suppose I normally need 200 comma 200 so I will set that and I will also keep applied zoom all so I don't have to give it again and again again by going into layer properties I will create the layers those I need properly uh, regularly so you can create the layers as many as you want you can give the colors to them you can give the line type desired line type then close it and any other setting that you want to do every time that you can uh, set there and after that you have to save this drawing and you have to save this drawing as a click on the here click then save it as AutoCAD drawing template and give the name to your template what name you want to give suppose I want to say is my temp then say, uh, click on save and if you want to write some description you can write there you can control the measurement also in which measurement you want it and click on OK so this template has been created so how to use this template then close this template then when you click on new in place of clicking on arcade you click on this my template then 
click on open so you will have all the settings available to you whatever you have done in templates those settings will be there so you don't need to do the setting again and again so in this way you can save your time